Hi everyone, this is Julia from Green Umbrella Marketing and today I just want to show you a, a quick tool on how to edit your videos if you're on the go, so if you want to be doing it via your mobile phone. Um, so say if you've created your video, I must admit I use this app called Magisto to create my videos and you've uploaded it to YouTube on the app, just uploading it directly from here, pressing this button at the top and then literally just selecting your video and uploading it. When you're doing it at that stage, always put it into private because you need to be able to edit it and put keywords in, add custom thumbnails and that sort of thing from uh, from the app. So you can't actually do that in the YouTube app yourself. So the best way of doing that is to download another app called YouTube Studio or YT Studio. It is an app that is owned by YouTube, so it's there for that specific purpose. So you've uploaded your video using the normal YouTube app and then you're going to edit the video via YouTube itself. So if you go into the YouTube app, uh, so let's just go into a quick video here um, and then so select your video and then click the little pencil. Again, okay, there's loads that you can actually do here. So the first thing I always suggest is to edit your thumbnail. I'm going to show you in a minute how to create a thumbnail. So rather than it taking a picture of you with or a, um, YouTube selecting a thumbnail, I'm going to show you how to create your own thumbnails, all doing this via your mobile phone. So uh, create your thumbnail. The other things... Um, that seems to be like the trend at the moment that gets the most uh, conversions is your title, making sure that your title first of all has um, some really good keywords in the title and then like a straight downward, um, I don't know what they call those lines there, a straight downward line there. Um, putting in your description, so again it's full with good keywords. Um, always giving some sort of calls to action as well, so you know, sign up for my weekly newsletter or whatever it is that you're going to put uh, and create a gear list. Then this is where you change it from, don't forget when you've uploaded it and before you've made it public, it's actually in private so you need to make sure that you've changed that to then public. Um, and then the last thing you can do, which you can't do when you're actually uploading the video on your mobile phone, is to then add the tags. Um, so you literally just click in here and just type in specific words that are relevant to your video. Um, and that's like adding keywords, so tags like keywords for YouTube. Don't forget, YouTube is owned by Google, so the better off that you can SEO it. Um, and that's by adding all different sorts of text, so tags descriptions and titles is better as well for YouTube. Also, I would recommend adding captions, as you can see underneath this video, uh, captions or subtitles are things that Google can read, are things that Facebook can read as well if you're uploading those videos and so making sure that you're adding your captions. So we're just going to click save on that and then that video is sort of ready to go. Okay, so that's that one I want to tell you. Okay, how to create those custom thumbnails then. Okay, so to create a brand new custom thumbnail I am on your phone, I'd recommend using PicMonkey. Um, I'm going to show you the reasons why I use PicMonkey. So I actually pay for this particular app. I think it's something like three quid a month or something like that, but it's so easy to use. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is select your image. So I'm just going to select this image here. Okay, um, what I want to make sure is that it's the correct size. So if I click um, edit, okay, and then I click uh, crop, okay, and you can see you can move these things over, but it actually gives you some templated sizes. So what I'm looking for is a YouTube, there you go, a YouTube cover photo, and it's going to crop it to the right size. So I select my YouTube cover photo, and then I click tick. Okay, so now I've got the basis of my template, so I've got the basis of my image. What I want to do now is add my logo, so let's add the green umbrella logo. So the way that you can add logos is, I call it something stupid, it's called a sticker. So I'm going to add a sticker, okay, and if I select my photos, um, and actually, if I click on camera roll, I've got all my logos saved in my camera roll, so in my favourites. So if I click favourites, and then let's just click the green umbrella one at the top. Okay, that's massive, we don't want it there, so I can make it small just by pinching it, and then I can move it over to wherever I want to move it. Okay, and then all I do then 
So once I've put my logo into the area that I want to put it into, I'm just going to click tick. So that bit's done. OK, and the next thing then I want to do is add some text because I actually want to say what this video is about. So I'm just going to click the text. OK, so I can type whatever I want. And so if I just put this as a test. OK, I'm going to click done. OK, as you can see, that doesn't look brilliant. So the first thing I want to do is select my font. So if I select whatever font I want to select, let's, so our font for green umbrella is this one, Monsterat, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And then we're going to change the color because we want this to stand out. So we want to change it to perhaps white. There you go. So I've just selected white um, and I can play around with all different sorts of styles uh, and I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. So if I wanted to move it up there and then change it to black, I could do. Okay, from here, I'm literally then just clicking that little tip button. Okay, um, I can do all different sorts of things. So I ha certainly have a play around with these. Um, the effects are quite good. So you can add various different effects. Um, various, like their effects are like filters. So I'm just going to say them. Um, and also have a play again with some stickers. And you've got all these different, you've got symbols in here. Uh, you've got shapes as well, some of the block shapes. So you can add text over, you know, perhaps a speech mark or something like that. Um, and they really work quite well. So let's click save. And then all I'm going to do is click save and that will save to my camera roll. And there from my camera roll, I can then upload using that YouTube um, studio editing software. There you go. That's now in my camera roll. So if I go back to my YouTube studio, back into a video, so I'm click, select that video. I'm going to edit my thumbnail. Click edit thumbnail. Okay, I want to change it. And if I wanted to, there I just select and we know it's the right size because we've done that and it's picked it selected the right size in pick monkey I'm not going to change that right now I'm going to move that cancel that okay that's me signing out for another week if you like these videos please hit that subscribe button and click the little bell that also says uh, you know subscribe for notifications if you're on seeing this on Facebook then please give our Facebook page a good old thumbs up okay I'll see you next week take care everyone bye bye